Hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and we're in for another edition of NHL Playoff Games Reaction on the Fly from the Steel Flyers All Sports Network. That's right, on the fly. I'm just going to go over to NHL Network. We're going to look at each game. I watched most, uh, some of them I didn't really watch all that much, but I saw the highlights and I watched most of them. Now I'm going to go over my reaction. My reaction. <laughs> Wait a second. What am I doing? Jeez. My hat on. That looks better. I hear I look like 10 years younger. I look like I'm 70 wearing my hat. Okay, we're going to look at each game, my reaction. And uh, I understand, like, I send this over to Facebook, to all the Facebook groups in the land there. And I was wondering why I wasn't getting followers on YouTube. My son... He, uh, he, he, we weren't friends on Facebook or whatever. He just added me. I, I don't know why we weren't, but he said, holy sh crap, shit. I guess I could say shit. You've got like 300 and some followers. And I was like, what? No, like friends? and No, followers. Like friends are different than followers, dad. And I was like, oh, well, that's why you're following me on Facebook. I would really appreciate it if you go over to the YouTube and follow me there. Because when I get a follow there, I make money. Facebook doesn't pay me nothing. Nothing. All right, let's go look at the new. Let's go look at it. We're just going to boom. This is totally one take. That's it. If there's any screw ups, I don't care. All right. Stars versus Flames. And this really pissed me off because I had the under and the Flames. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ottinger, who I have talked lots about. I've been talking about him for quite some time. Uh, two years now, I've been saying Ottinger is going to be a beast and all that stuff like that. But I didn't give him enough. I didn't give him this much credit this year. He is flying off the charts, my 41 shots. So that's, I don't know how many shots they had the last two games, but he's only let two goals in in three games, and he had 41 shots. His save percentage is like .075 or something. Might even be less than that. It's crazy. .5, I think. .05. This kid keeps on going like this, <clears throat> and Dallas might end up doing what they did when uh, – Oh, the Russian guy. Hab Not Habi Bulin. Hudobin went off and they made the finals in the bubble. But, I don't know, we'll see. I, I, I definitely had the Flames to win this series. Old Joe Pavelski. Doesn't even look old. Look at that. Man, oh man. If I looked that young at his age, I would only look like I was like 60 right now. That kid, guy... 39 years old, I think he is, 38, still potting goals like nobody's business. Crazy. Had some nice ones too. And then Ropo Hints puts it away in the uh, 19th. Are you kidding me? There was one second left. I would have had my under. Oh, my God. All right. Now I just feel a little more sick inside than I already did. Anyways, Lucic had a nice, made a nice play. Uh, the the Cal Calgary is not playing bad, and this but this the situation here is, and this is something else I know. Sutter's won cups, so I mean, you can't really argue with it. But after his last cup in LA, the problem was for like I don't know how many years it was. They couldn't score. That was pretty much the reason why he was let go. He, they couldn't score anymore. I don't know if there's something about his system or what. I mean, like I said, it was fine because he won cups. But there's something that happened there. And L.A. couldn't score. And now Calgary, it looks like they're in a funk right now. It's just 
It's not going in for them. They seem to be playing pretty well. Uh, Anderson took a just an absolute crush against the boards where it was called boarding. And I can't remember who it was that hit him, but he didn't look well. I, I think that's going to sting for a while. Uh, he might play, but it looks like it was a back something or something like that. Tanev has been playing great. Markstrom's been playing fine too. It's just you got this kid behind him in Ottinger, 23 years old, stopping pucks like crazy. Now, I, I love the kid. I've been talking about him, like I said, for quite some time. I knew he was going to be great. He hadn't really reached the great, great, great status, but it looks like maybe he might have now because and it was funny. Early, Ottinger looked like he was letting out some rebounds. He was playing kind of loose, but he obviously reeled it back in and just went off. Uh, Klingberg had another fight today or had a fight. Yeah, he start, he's fighting people. He fight, fought Kachuk. You know, that's the sort of thing that I think – uh, a, uh, remember what I was saying? I, if you've been watching this, and I don't know why you have, wouldn't be, wouldn't have been watching up until now. Um, maybe you were lost or something. But um, I was talking about how uh, Dallas has been playing close knit games all season long. And Rick Bonus has a tendency to have his teams do that. It, it's, I think Rick Bonus in a lot of ways seems like some mad genius that nobody gets. That's all year long, he seems to find a way for his teams to just barely win games or lose by a goal, no matter who they're playing. And then when it comes to playoffs, they're so used to it, and that's what happens in the playoffs. It's like they're practicing it or something. I don't know. I'd love to talk to him sometime, find out what the hell that's all about. But... Hack and pa. I just wanted to say hack and pa. Hack and pa. Love that name. I don't know how he played or anything. I just wanted to say his name. Uh, Ryan Suter playing twenty three minutes as the old the old man Ryan Suter is playing tons of minutes. Lindell playing tons of minutes looked great today, but really it comes down that they're they're not good. You, without Ottinger, they probably lose this game. Calgary was playing pretty darn well. Outshot him by quite a bit. Outplayed him a lot of the game. Stars kind of got the bounces. But like I said, they hold in. They keep themselves in. And then Ottinger plays like he is. And boom. All right. Sub yourself up, Flames and Stars fans, to my YouTube channel. I know I have all the followers in the land and Facebook, but I don't get paid for that. Help me out. Help a brother out. Help a brother out. Go over to YouTube and hit the Facebook group. Okay, let's next. Let's next. That was enough of that game. It's enough. What's the next one? Penguins versus Rangers. And I got this one wrong, too. I, I thought the Rangers could win this with uh, Deming. I'm telling you, I... You got to win with Deming, but this Penguins team with Crosby, like, I, how many times do I do I have to sell this team short? They, they never they play such an even keel game, Pittsburgh. They never get too high, too low. They've got great veterans and Carter, of course, Crosby, like I just said. Uh, then they get you know guys like Yvonne Rodriguez just side to pot a couple today. They just seem to get it when they need it. And they have every uh, – if Crosby is like some spiritual guru for the whole gang. Well, Gunsel in the playoffs, like he's just freaking money, Matt. Money. And, yeah, I picked the Rangers to win to win the series. And I was like – when I did my series video, I was like, I, I never take green teams like this. I have a feeling I'm going to kick myself. Because Pittsburgh in the playoffs, they just know how to win no matter what. Unless they have like Jari going through some sort of crisis. 
flopping around and can't stop a puck at all. But if they got a goaltender that can stop a puck at all, they can beat anybody. And uh, they're doing it. They're doing it. The uh, The Rangers did well. They uh, they went down 4-1 early. Who saw that coming? Right? Like, you're going to get four goals on Shesterkin in one period? I didn't see that coming. But then Frankie Vitrano, love that guy. I don't know why. It's freaking Frankie Vitrano. It's Frankie Vitrano over here. All right? I'm going to score a couple goals for you, right? I just love it. I don't know why. <laughs> Vitrano. Kreider and from Jabot. And Panarin Pot. Pot's another one. Um, but, you know, Cop, Cop, Cop gets one that gets them all tied up. But the thing is, is Pittsburgh doesn't lose their minds. You know, they stay that total even keel. And uh, let the game flow. Keep on playing their system. Keep on playing the way they... Next thing you know, this young Ranger team starts looking tight. Starts getting a little ahead of themselves. Bobbling the puck a little bit. And Pittsburgh's all over it. Pots three and third. Boom! See ya. It's all over. And, of course, the series isn't over. It'll be, it's going to be interesting to see how the Rangers come back from this one. But they got to, like, chill out a little bit. they got to learn. It's just as playing in the playoffs. Not too high, not too low. I don't know if you've heard it a million times, but it's easier said than done to not get too riled up where you're bobbling the puck, taking bad penalties, and certainly not getting too low that you lose confidence and start getting back on your heels. And, you know, veteran teams like Pittsburgh know this, and they do it well. So the Rangers, uh, I did watch the game, uh, not all of it. I watched parts of the game. I was out with the little lady doing little lady stuff. And uh, so I didn't see it all. But from what I did see of it, like the Rangers, when they're skating and they put pressure, that's fine. But Pittsburgh just doesn't bend. That's the thing. They just don't bend. And young teams like this, like I love Braden Schneider. I do. 13 minutes a night. You know, he's playing well for a kid, but he's just a freaking kid. And Fox, you know, is... Still only 22, man. He's playing 27 minutes a night. He's playing well. Just imagine what Fox is going to be 25, 26 years old. Woo! Uh, amazing. Um, you know, you got some veterans here like Truba, but, I mean, he hasn't really been in it. In it. Some, you know, Braun puts in, is putting in some minutes. Keandre Miller is going to be a beast, but this team is still very, very young and really, you know, they're just going to have to grow. Uh, they could still win the series, especially with Deming and Net getting more rubber med. Don't pass. It's Deming. It's bloody Deming. He barely, he's not an NHL goaltender. What are you passing around? Like doing, like you got to fake him out. You don't have to fake him out. You don't. You just got to wait for him to go down and top, put it in the top hand corner. He always goes down. Just wait it out a little bit. Wait it out a little bit. Uh, like I said, Shesterkin just got ripped. Wow. And then Gorgiev came in and played better. Who, like, who saw that? I didn't see that coming, but it happens to the best of them, I guess. Anyways, I think the Rangers will bounce back. Sturkin will have a better night. And uh, they'll get back at her again and play. Pittsburgh will play them tough. But, I, you know, with Deming and Ned, I just I have a feeling the Rangers are still going to take this. It's just going to be a lot Still going to be very tight, may even go seven games because this is a savvy team, this Pittsburgh group. And uh, Matheson played 23 minutes. Wow, eh? Everybody hated that move. Everybody hated that move when uh, Hornquist was traded for Matheson. But to Sullivan, are you ever going to give the guy a coach a year or what? Everybody he brings in there, Marino, Pedersen, he works with them. He turns them into good defensemen. Matheson was ass in Florida, comes over here. He does pretty well. He's not doing bad. I mean, he's not great, but he's good enough. 
So, uh, anyways, yeah, Louis Domingue. Come on, Rangers. You can't say you lost to Louis Domingue. And if Pittsburgh wins with Louis Domingue, that's huge. Sub up, Pittsburgh fans. Sub up to my YouTube channel. I love the fact that you're subbing to me on Facebook. Don't get me wrong. I'm not putting you down for it. It's awesome. But YouTube channel is where I make the dollar dollar bills, yo. If you want to help a brother out, be able to give you this fine programming. Same as you, New York Rangers fan. Give me a sub. Give me a sub. All right. What do we got next? Avalanche Predators. I'm not going to talk too much about this, right? Like, this was a big game for the Preds. They're home now. They they did come out hard in the first. I was watching it. Came out hard in the first. This is a game I got totally right. I hit a whole bunch of picks on this one. Uh, but it's just too much on this roster, man. <laughs> My gosh. It's not even fair, this poor Ingram kid. Like, it's not fair at all. Nichushkin, O'Connor. O'Connor's playing even fantastic. McKinnon, of course. You know, Landis got just pots, just pot a hat trick. Why not? Oh, I guess he got two. Four points. Two goals, two assists. Uh, Burkowski's not shooting. Look at it. They're only playing him 11.56. I said that. I said that way before we got in there. I said, don't be surprised if Burkowski doesn't get too many minutes in the playoffs. He's just not a playoff performer. He's a one-shot dude. And uh, somebody's going to overpay for him in the in the offseason because I don't think Colorado's giving him the money. I don't think so at all. Uh, they got Lekin and they'll probably pay him up instead of paying for him. But speed for days on this. Like, you watch them, man. Especially when they do the little drop pass to McKinnon and then he flies up the neutral zone and, like, everybody in – Everybody in yellow go just, what, okay, well, let's hold on here. Oh, are we, did we do okay? Did we do okay? <laughs> it was brutal, man. Brutal. This defense is off the freaking chain. McCarr, Taze, Eric Johnson still serviceable at his age. Bowen Byram's freaking going to be a beast. Beast. This roster is set up for cups for the next couple of years. Now, the bad thing, of course, as we know, Kemper took a skate in the face. Like, wow. Now they got to win with Francis. That's uh, it's going to be a big chore, unless Kemper can come back. Uh, Francis especially didn't have a very good second half. So maybe you got a light of hope, Nashville fans. Oh, you had Cody Glass in there? Ouch. The heck was Cody Glass doing in the lineup? He's, I'll tell you, he doesn't do much. Doesn't do much at all. Um, but I could go over the roster here, but Nashville's just way, like, you got a lot of his own playing, man. That's not good. Matt Benning, Matt Benning's a good solid guy, you know, five, six, whatever. But it, uh, And you got Roman Josie, but I mean, with that lineup in Colorado, they're. they're they don't have anything, especially with the poor Ricky Ingram in that. And I, you know, he's been game. He's been game. He's 25 years old. It's going to be an opportunity for him to hopefully secure a contract next year. And, you know, in, he, he's made some nice saves and stuff like that, but it's freaking Colorado, man. It's four goals for McKinnon already in this playoffs. Landis Gog's got three. This got so many weapons. Uh, if, for a kid that's sitting there going, McKinnon, Landis Scott, who do I take? Well, ah, must be losing his freaking mind, dude. Losing his mind. All right. Colorado, Nashville fans, sub up to my YouTube channel. All you got to do, I know you can't do it on the, the video you're watching right now. You got to actually go over to YouTube. It sucks. Search for Perlo, sub up there. All right. Let's get me up to a thousand. I start making money for my family. I keep on doing videos like this for you. See? See how that works? There you go. Maybe you don't want me to do these videos then. Okay, go away then. Just go. I don't care. It doesn't hurt me at all. All right. Finally. Capitals versus Panthers. And what kind of voodoo shit's going on here? Seriously. 
Like, I didn't get to see this game. I was off with the little lady out to all the lands, and uh, I didn't get to see the game. Uh, I, I heard it, and all I heard was just Washington. I was Bob Ross. Tell me, you guys tell me, it was Bob Ross. We just ass here. That's what I was afraid of. Everybody was afraid of it. Everybody was afraid of it, weren't they? It was Bobrovsky, and they left him in for every freaking goal? Holy crap. They didn't put the kid in at all. Usually when a coach does that, that's because they're going to – he's not playing the next game. So I wouldn't be surprised if Spencer Knight's going to be in next game. Uh, not much to say about this. Washington, everything they shot went in. Like everything they shot went in. It sounds to me, I, like I said, I didn't watch the game, but it sounded to me like Bob Broski just had a really bad night. And people will say, well, you know, you got to play defense. Once that puck starts going in and you get rattled and stuff like that, the whole team falls apart. Like the goalie is the glue, man. Goalie is the glue. Who scored all of Oh, Ovi did pot one, eh? Oh, she's got two now. Ovi's dishing them off. Three assists already. I, like, it's, I mean, is this a surprise? It is. <coughs> but Laviolette is a really savvy coach. He knows, he knows his X's and O's and how to, how to attack the uh, op opponent. I mean, he's, he won a cup. He took Philly to the finals. You know, he's got more talent on here than he did with Philly when he brought them to the finals. So who knows, right? Uh, and I did mention that in my video that I didn't think Florida was going to win the cup because I, I hadn't seen all year that they looked like they could play playoff type hockey. But I thought they'd beat Washington. And it's not over yet. I know. Settle down. Settle down. I know it's not over yet. But has this does not look good, man. And I think they got to go with Spencer Knight next time. Washington Capitals fans, what do you got to say? You can gloat. Gloat all you want there in the comment section. Tell me all about it. Uh, tell me what you love about your team right now. You think Sam Sonoff can do it? Sam Sonoff. 25 of 26 shots. Or sorry, 29 of 30 shots. Did he stop that many shots all year? Like, that's what blew me away. It was freaking Sam Sonoff in net. I don't know if he can hold it. Obviously, he'll be going back in the pipes again. But, I mean, he looked absolutely awful all year long. Wouldn't it be weird if he just went on this, like, crazy confident stretch and just stopped everything? That would be strange. All right. That's my full 42. I gave you everything I got. Right on the fly, one take, one take. We don't do editing, editing. No, you say, well, it's more professional if you do editing. Well, then go watch professional people. <laughs> so have you ever watched the professional people that get all the editing in the land done and they completely just talk out of their ass? They don't know what they're saying at all. I'm not saying all of them do. I have a lot of the guys that I really enjoy. But there's some of them, like, they don't actually ever say it. They don't have an opinion on anything. They just basically say, this could happen, and that could happen, and you just never know. So I guess we'll see. That's what they say for, like, a half an hour. You never know, though. They could, they could do it. We're going to have to see. All right. I'll have another one of these again some other time when I feel like at a clock. Have a great day, everybody. Sub yourself up. NHL Pearl of Wisdom show. I do it every once in a while. You might want to check it out. But you have to be subbed to my YouTube channel. So do it. Okay, bye.